Hi folks, I'm Silicate, and today I'm going to show you some easy ways that you can decorate your hamster's cage. So here I have Peridot's cage, which I just changed, and right now it's pretty void of decorations and almost free of toys. She's much more used to a lot of different things to play with. You can see that it's not very stimulating to just have the bare minimum. So the first thing we're going to do is add some stimulation here. Because your cage can look great, but if it's not going to be entertaining and a great place to live for your hamster, then there's not much of a point to that. So one of the toys that I'm about to put in here is this rainbow bridge of toilet paper rolls. I'll try and get around to making a DIY video for this as soon as I can. I've just been really busy with school lately. We can just pop this in here right over her hut, and I'll give her some more tubes to climb into, some more stuff to explore, just a lot more fun. Now the second toy I'm going to add in here is the KT Puzzle Playground set. And these tend to be a little bit more expensive than, say, making toys yourself. I think I paid $13 for this at Petco. They're a lot of fun to assemble, and animals have a lot of fun playing around in them. Make sure you keep your tunnels and everything right so it doesn't tend to brush against the corner of your cage. Now the other thing about smaller cages like this is you don't have as much room to work with when you're putting in decorations. So if you want to give your hamster more space, more fun, more stuff to play with, I definitely recommend getting a cage that's larger than the minimum. Now the, <laughs> the last bit of enrichment I'm going to add here before I start playing in the decorations is a really simple, really cheap one. It's just a few sheets of toilet paper all rolled up. And I don't know about every hamster and every other small animal, but Peridot loves playing with these things. She'll tend to go underneath the layers and unroll them, add them into her cage for extra bedding. Just has so, so much fun with little things as simple as that. So our cage is now adequately enhanced with extra toys and bits of stimulation but it still looks a little bit bland, so I'm going to show you a couple of really easy ways that you can spruce this up, make it a lot more colorful, a lot more fun to look at, and perhaps make it look a bit more assimilated with the look of your room. Of course, you can do these with different color spans, different materials, whatever you'd like. Just make sure that whatever you're using, if it goes inside the cage, is safe for the hamster. Now, this first little decoration is extremely easy to do. You just take a normal toilet paper roll like I had in the cage earlier and cut out a piece of construction paper, make sure it's non-toxic. That would fit the toilet paper roll well and be able to wrap around it at least once. It doesn't need to wrap around more, there's no benefit to it, but you can make it a little bit thicker if you want, should make it more durable. Okay. So once we got our construction paper, we're just going to want to take some non-toxic hot glue Put a line of that along the toilet paper roll. Get a better hot glue gun, perhaps. And just stick it on. Then wrap it around till you're all the way around the roll again. Okay, I cut this one a little bit too short, but that's okay. I'll just put this end towards the bottom. And put another little line of hot glue in. Before out. Before you burn yourself, make sure the glue's not too hot. <laughs> and before you put it in the cage, make sure that there's no strings or anything, as your hamster could get their claws tangled up in them. I'm just going to take off this extra space. Now this is a little sloppy, but it'll do quite well. Make the cage look just a little bit more cheery. So there's our toilet paper roll. Adds just another splash of color in. But it's still a little bit bland across the floor and on the walls, so I'm going to show you two quick things you can do to fix both of those. So here I got a big old box of shreds of non-toxic construction paper. I'll leave a link in the description box on how to make these. And you can just sprinkle a couple of these across the top of the bedding, which adds so much color and such festivity. Just like that. I'll even put in a couple more, splurge a bit here. Now last, but certainly not least, is the aquarium background. I got the idea for these from 
those aquarium backgrounds that you find in the stores, the ones with different aquatic scenes that you can put on the fish tanks. And I thought, hey, I bet I can make some really cute stuff like that for Peridot. So I made this one out of washi tape and poster board. I'll also leave a link on how I made that below. Oh, she's waking up. And you can just tape this onto the back of the aquarium with scotch tape. One of the best things about this is you don't even need to worry about testing if it's non-toxic or figuring out if it's safe for the hamster because it's not even going to be inside the cage. And it just adds so much color and so much depth and just makes the cage look fantastic.